considered by most to be a Beyblade legend often seen as a bad character or a villain in the Beyblade Burst Metal Saga series. In truth, he is the Dragon Emperor. What we want to know today is, can you beat uh, Ryuga? Huh? We're going to break this video up into two sections. One being, can you beat Ryuga as he was evil? And the second part being, can you beat him after he actually learned to have control over El Drago as opposed to El Drago controlling him? Ryuga is not only a strong blader, but a strong human. He is a survivalist, a person that can live on his own. This was demonstrated as he took on a journey to defeat Nemesis. This makes him a very difficult opponent to beat because mentally he cannot be beaten. He already does believe he is the Emperor through his actions. There's not much to know about Ryuga's past other than he was actually raised by the Dark Nebula and was eventually brought up to own El Drago. But what we do know is that once he found El Drago with Doji, he became more obsessed with becoming a stronger blader, with becoming the strongest blader that there could be, using negative energy to feed off of El Drago and El Drago feeding off of that negative energy himself, feeding off of everybody's negative energy. And that's how he became known as the Dragon Emperor by spin stealing everybody else's negative energy out of their Beyblade and using it to make El Drago stronger. Now, how on earth can you be such a person, such a character, such a legend? Chances are we will never get to meet somebody as powerful as Ryuga IRL in real life. But if you ever want to be something like Ryuga, a legend, a, a Beyblade Emperor, then you may want to invest into having your own star piece made into a Beyblade. Now you can easily do this by buying a meteorite yourself. And I'm not joking about this guys, you could actually do this online. I'll leave a couple of links down in the description below of course, so that you could actually do this just like the way they did it in Metal Masters. Make a cool face bolt made out of a star fragment. Use it to defeat your enemies one by one and gaining their negative energy once you do that. Make sure to include rubber in the layer, that will make sure that you are a spin steel emperor yourself and have a good knockback when facing an opponent. Let's face it, Lightning El Drago has been taken out, so you do stand a chance at defeating Ryuga. Having a setup like this, having your own star piece infused Beyblade of which you yourself have practiced with for a very long time. There's no possible way that somebody that just stepped into the game could ever rise to the top of Beyblade or can there. We do discuss that in one of the biggest Beyblade conspiracies and of course our Beyblade Iceberg. You can check both of those links in the top right corner of the video. But getting back to the subject at hand, can we beat Ryuga once he has his own control of El Drago? Once he becomes good, a little bit more of a positive image in the Beyblade Burst Metal Saga series. Some people call him an anti-villain. If he is using Meteor El Drago, then you may not even have a chance. Let's face it, he is one of the greatest, one of the best bladers there ever was. There is a great mystery that surrounds his death, but we don't exactly know in the show if he's still alive. As for the manga, it's not really confirmed whether he has died. Of course, I'll put all the information down in the description below so that you as well can research it yourself and know for sure. One of the hardest things to actually achieve is a perfect synchronicity with your Beyblade. Something that took Ryuga years to achieve 
and a lot of training, going through various opponents, and of course, defeating them one after another. The combination of these two facts makes Ryuga a most worthy opponent. But, like I said before, we will likely never see a blader quite like Ryuga. But should you ever meet anybody that can be a legend, a legendary blader like him, could you defeat a blader like Ryuga? It is very likely that you'll need a left spin Beyblade as well, so that he is not able to drain your spin. While a lot of people might say that Louis Shirosagi or even Free de la Hoya would not compare to the likes of Ryuga. In my opinion, their new Sparking Beyblades are very, very strong. And given a size comparison between the, all these Beyblades and all the generations, El Drago looks like a tiny Beyblade compared to the Rage Fafnir's doing. Wow, wow, just throwing him around. Doing a great job. Get it. Oh my god, I feel bad for El Drago. He's just getting tossed around. This is unprecedented. Unbelievable. Oh, and go. There we go. My encounter mode, I think I'm even encounter mode. <laughs> Sends him right up. Go. And go. There we go. Big hits. Oh my gosh. But Fafnir standing tall. Very big difference in size and in weight, of course, even with Fafnir. Oh, ooh, that rubber really slowed him down. So a big factor in you winning your match may be in the Beyblade you choose to battle with. Should you choose to go with a Metal Series Beyblade, you may not even stand a chance. But using one of the new Sparking Beyblades, you just might have an edge over one of these at Legendary Beyblades. And finally, defeating one of the best, one of the greatest legends around. But what do you think? Are you able to defeat a legendary, dare I say, an Emperor Blader like Ryuga, the likes of which we'll probably never see again? Is Ryuga still alive? And is El Drago's essence still living on in other bladers. Is El Drago's evil presence still going around through the Beyblade universe? Let me know down in the comments below. On the screen you will see a couple of videos that I do think you'll love. So click on one of them and I will see you there.